today I have a small 3D printer to show you. This is the Ender 3 made by the Creative 3D company. And uh, one of the things I want to remind you that now I'm sponsored by the Creality company. So technically this is not a reveal. That's why I want you to click the link in the description box and see other reviews from my friends. They don't have a business association with Creality. So if you decided to buy this printer, you want to make the best judgment, you should watch other videos, do some homework and double check if this printer really is suitable for you. And this is a $200 uh, 3D printer, so it is very inexpensive. I'm very curious uh, what it's gonna happen. Now let's unbox it and let me show you. Um, oh, and before uh, I show you, in the box you can see in the front, it says made in Shenzhen Longhua. And Longhua is a manufacturer district. I have been there last time to film the manufacturing process in the Creality company. And uh, if you're curious, you can click the link uh, in my uh, playlist also. And now let's go ahead. It is very well packaged. It has a layer of foam on the top. And this is the uh, menu, user menu. Okay. They're all in English and there is a QR code here for more information. Let's uh, put it aside. Maybe I should move this uh, box on the floor and then show you from this camera. As usual, the toolkit for the 3D printer, a small spatula, Ooh. the platform and the extruder is uh, in one piece and they're using um, their re-slot. I'm pretty familiar with it because I have a lot of uh, aluminum extrusion table and I've built my bar about out of the same extrusion. More aluminum extrusion, but looks like there is a least screw in, in the uh, silicone protector. So this is a single least screw. This one I'm pretty sure is a spool holder. And the power supply, this one is uh, 24 volt. There is a LCD panel and this is the LCD screen and on the top there is a front view for the uh, spool holder. I'm pretty familiar with all of this. Now let's assemble it. Some of you might not know that um, I, my skill is probably equal to a teenager, a 14 or 15 year old teenager in America, that if I can do it, basically anyone can do it. So this too is supposed to put on the side, I think, but I got too many things here. Just going to put them neatly in the box. with a small flash cutter. It's pretty handy. I've got uh, a couple of them, but this one just looks like the one I have. And they have some Allen keys, a wrench over here. Some zip tie. Some screws and you can see the extrusion they're all tap flip this over 
This way it will be easier. And the next step, let's put the LCD uh, on, I think it's this side. Yeah, like this. Should be here. And this one should be here. So on this side, I'm going to put the power supply on. There is a switch at the back. You can uh, switch it to 110 or 220 volt. Now on the other side, now I'm putting the uh, Z axis motor. So I put the screw on the back and now I'm going to tighten the Z axis motor. Next, I'm going to put the lead screw inside the spindle. I'm going to put the bell on the wheels and going through the other side first. Next, we are going to put the shorter extrusion on the top. And the final step, we are going to put the spool holder on the top. Okay, are we done? No, we're not done. We have to plug all the wires in the uh, right position. So this two is supposed to go in here. And for the gray wire here, I think the gray wires goes back to the LCD panel. And on the side, you can see there are three plug. You plug in it, the number three. At the bottom, this one is for the um, C motor. C axis motor. So now we are done. Let's plug it in and level the bed and try to print something. The easiest way to level the ender free is to download this file from Fingerverse. The URL is in the description box. Many thanks to John Fierenside for creating it. There will be two files, an STL and a G-code file. You just need to copy the G-code file to the micro SD card that came with the printer. Okay, now I have the G-code ready. I plug in the power cable. Let's uh, put the micro SD card in and then load the filament. So, <laughs> some people on the forum says that it's a bit tricky to 
uh, put the micro SD card in the slot because there is indeed there is a very small gap between the box and the slot so you gotta be very careful when you try to put it in because if you're putting it in the wrong position it will probably go inside the fan instead of the slot but you can feel it, you can feel the tug now let's load the filament Let me peel off the sticker first so that it will be easier to uh, look at. First, I have to preheat the extruder so we can load the filament. And for uh, this LCD panel, we press press to confirm and rotate to select. Hit prepare. And then preheat PLA. And now the nozzle is heating, and so does the uh, heated bed. We're just going to wait for the nozzle to heat up, and then we can fit in the filament. So now it reached the target temperature, which is 185. One thing for the filament is when you try to fit it in, first cut it in an angle because you can fit it in easier if you cut it square it is tougher for you to do it and I'm just gonna pinch and trying to find the hole the t hole of the tube And don't try to force it. If you can find it, just wiggle, wiggle. And because I'm using the green PLA, so it's very easy to tell uh, its direction. And now I can see the filament is coming out of the nozzle. But don't try to put the little thing off with your a uh, little bit of filament with your fingers because the nozzle is really hot right now and it could burn you. First, let's home bake and then we'll level the bed. Let's go to the menu and choose prepare and then auto home. Okay, now let's level the bed. I'm just going to use the regular A4 paper as a guy let's go back to the menu choose print from SD bed level and the free so there is four wheels underneath and now we are at the first wheel you want to uh, first uh, uh, clockwise turn the wheel clockwise until it's um, a bit not but not too tight now it's too tight so we have to lose, loosen it a little bit nice grip like this okay now the next one
Okay, now we are going to repeat it and do the final uh, leveling. So now it is printing the square to test out uh, if the bed is level. The line will be of even width uh, all the way around if the bed is level and it looks like so. Okay, it looks good. Now let's try a test print. So what I have here is a standard test print. It is called the Benji Bolt. And this is printed at 0.2 millimeter layer high. But to be honest, a nice Benji Bolt isn't that uncommon these days. What is exceptional is, it is the first print out of a $200 3D printer. And I really like this printer, but I am sponsored by Creality. So go check out other people's channel to see what they say about Ender 3. I don't think they will, dis they will disagree with me. But I do have some concerns because this 3D printer comes as a kit. And some of you might be beginner and some might find it a little bit troublesome to put it all together. And what I would suggest is to find a young maker to assemble this for you, you can watch and learn. And I think it's a great summer draft for most of them. And a lot of the young makers I know online, they're very skillful and talented. And I don't think this will be a challenge for them. Um, this time I didn't show any uh, software keywords in this video, but I will show it in the future. Uh, but until then, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.